<sighs> Welcome back to another Digi Daycare. Sweet, sweet caffeine to get things going. Last video, I felt like I was feeling better, but then like immediately after I filmed, I felt the fog coming in thick and fast. And when I was editing it, yeah, the fog was there. But genuinely, I do think I am feeling a bit better today. I've managed to actually keep some food down for the first time in a few days, which is good. No complaints though, good for the diet, isn't it? <laughs> Just a classic bit of starvation. <sighs> yeah, the setup is still much the same for now, but my little bro is a legend and i woke up this morning to a gift voucher for some new equipment so i have actually got some lighting stuff coming so hopefully the footage will be a little less grainy in the next one or the one after the next one but anyway improvements are coming i've got a new tripod as well so hopefully the postman's going to bring us some goodies in the next few days so yeah things are things are on the up things are on the up spanking cup of coffee right let's meet the mons so let's start from the top pendulum color version dd9 gilmon x digivolve 2 tyrannomon x so this is now his natural champion before it was flareismon now it's tyrannomon x both of these mons were in the roster before but they've moved slots so yeah the perfect line is now gilmon x antibody tyrannomon x antibody and then tune in next time to find out what the ultimate's going to be Here's Tyrannomon X, still rocking the Wind Guardians background. I just think that looks so good. Got to be one of my favourite backgrounds. It's like a really pretty meadow in like a valley. I love the depth in the sky. I think it looks sick. Here we go. He's a data type, as he should be. Fire breath. There we go. Look at that. The green looks so effective in contrast to the red as well. Absolutely love it. Tyrannomon X is a beast. Ace, one might say. Wind Guardians, so our fun guy, Mushroom Mon, Digivolve 2, Woodmon. So I think I stuck to the plan. I think this was zero effort, full training. But like I said, I was getting very hazy, so don't take my word for it. In case you're not aware, there is a full evolution guide on the Digitama Hatchery website. I'll link that in the description box below. But yeah, this is Woodmon, and he looks sick. Love him in colour, loved him anyway. But uh, in colour, he's just got extra character. It looks kind of spooky. It looks kind of cute when he does his happy faces. Just a really good cycle of um, expressions. Look at that. What a dude. Absolutely love him. Uh, so let's train him up. He's a virus type. Nice and easy. I like that he fires the creepy hands as well because it's kind of like branches in your classic horror movie type stuff. Mega hit. Look at him. He's just a big lovable geezer. And then Metal Empire, Kokuamon. So another Digimon I'm not usually that crazy for, but in colour he looks fantastic. Look at the shading effect on the metal on his head. Just I never would have thought of them doing that, and it looks so effective. Like I feel like when I've seen him in colour before, it's just been like a block silver or a block grey. Whereas that like shining effect looks so effective. Really, really like it. So yeah, I've grown a little bit more love for Kokuamon because he looks pretty cool. And he's a data type as well. Lighting's looking a little bit better so you can see the this shell combo a little bit clearer. But it's still not a patch on how it actually looks to the naked eye. It's beautiful. Before we hatch out any new buddies, let's do some battling. So Kokuamon is yet to venture out into quest mode. So let's do it. There's Toy Agumon. He looks sick. Got to be my favourite rookie from this device. I think he's so cool and he looks especially effective in colour. Let's check this out. Not sure if Kokuamon's attack name. I should have checked that. Double hit on Toyagamon though. Dodge, nice. Let's do this, Kokuamon. Clean sheet. Yes, yeah, Soz Toyagamon. We'll meet again. It's a mirror match with Kokuamon. There we go. Uh-oh. Hang in there, buddy. He's only firing a single. We can take that. Make this one count. Oh, heck. Well, bugger. Well, we gave it our all. Oh, he's injured as well. He looks too sad. There we go. So for Kokuamon, I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep his condition up. So no care mistakes. 
and I'm just going to train him when he needs training. So we'll just let the gods decide what effort he ends up with. At the minute, he's on one, but obviously each time his strength hearts depletes, I'll train him up and get them full again and then leave it at that. So I'm not going to grind it. I'm not going to aim for a specific number. We're just going to see where that takes us. Cool. Right. I want to do a battle between these geezers. Let's swap sides. There we go. So Tyranimon X versus Woodmon. So Tyranimon X is at the disadvantage here because he's a data and Woodmon is virus and virus is strong against data. Uh, let's see how this goes. Creepy hand attack and fire breath attack. Tyranimon takes the first hit. Ah, oh, man. The version DD9 has been getting battered. Wind Guardians is taking no prisoners. Sick. Uh, let's venture a little bit further into quest mode with Woodmon. Stage two, we got Beomon. Double hit. That's what I like to see. He's got such a cute, happy face. There's Palmon. She looks, hey, she looks like a right little gremlin. <laughs> Look at that. What is going on there, Palmon? Yeah, that's a funny looking Palmon. Her standing sprite's pretty good and her attacking one, but that little angry face thing. Yeah, not sure what to make of that. Brace yourself, Woodmon. Oh, we've, we've angered her. We've offended her. Never mind. I guess we barked up the wrong tree. <laughs> tree, get it? Bark? <laughs> oh, never mind. Right, it's time for... A new buddy. It's time to crack open the Virus Busters Pendulum Color. Look how pristine this thing is. This looks so fancy. Let's fight with some tape again. See, because it's left. Look, look at that. Look at gluey residue. Not happy. You know better than this, Premium Bandai. You're a collector's brand. Oh, that's a beast. Again, I'm really sorry about the lighting because this gold is really nice, but through the camera, it looks quite dull, but it's beautiful. I will get some proper shots. I might even have to get somebody else to get some clips of these for me to overlay, see if uh, I can add it to my wife's list of jobs <laughs> whilst running around after me. She's only got to do all the housework, look after the kids, look after the pets, feed me, do my medication. What's a few more little jobs? <laughs> In fact, it's even my wife that's setting all this up for me at the minute, because obviously I can't balance all this stuff. So she really is the secret weapon of this channel. It would not exist without my wife's valiant efforts and limitless patience <laughs> for my hobby. Yeah, here we go. Virus Busters looking beautiful. There's the Magna Andromon splash screen. The egg is golden, as to be expected. There we go, Yukimi bottom on. I love that background as well, that looks really nice. Especially excited to get that background on the DD9 Pendulum because when I raise Magna Drummond, she'll look really good on that like holy background, that's really cool. That's a funky animation cycle we got going on there, Yukimi bottom on. Very expressive, very energetic. He's bouncing around. Let's see that one again over that side. Show us, do the thing. Look at that. Madness. Right, let's feed him up a little bit. One, two, three. So not that anyone's actually questioned it, but I want to clear up something I said in the first Digi Daycare video when I was talking about the colors with the pendulum color, like the color schemes with the shell and the buttons and the frame. At the time of recording these, the pendulum colors have only released in one type. So the only pendulum color virus busters is the pearl and gold. What I meant by the two options were the original. So when it's originally released, there was pearl and gold and pearl and silver. Same with this one. So when this originally released, there was green and bronze and green and yellow. Not that you can get two options in the color variant, if, if that makes sense. I may have just confused you even more now. But yeah, <laughs> at the time of recording this, there's only one of each pendulum color that you can buy. 
Right, now that we've hatched out that fella, I think what we're going to do is Woodmon over here is going to go into backup. So we're going to save him and hatch out a new egg so that we can raise this one alongside this guy. And these can be sparring buddies as well. And then when Virus Busters reaches champion, we might look at doing some Joe Gresses or something like that. I think that'll give us a, a good little bit of variety again. So we've got Woodmon in backup now, ready for some kind of Joe Gress shenanigans down the road. Pretty cool. Right, let's catch up with the Digivice color. So I switched out for a little Chatterbox Agamon. And I've got another secret area to do. So let's do just that. Was here, I think. There we go. Puppetmon. A thousand steps. Love that jungle background. Ain't that sick? Is that the same one that I've got on here? Let's have a look. Oh, Wingard is hatching. Hello again, Yokimon. Welcome back. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Kind of. Here we go. It's Puppet Mon. He looks amazing. Or Pinocchio Mon, as he was known in Japan. Sequence battle. Let's go for School Greymon, because I just love the evolution sequence for this. So we'll skip past Greymon. And into the Greymon to School Greymon. I don't know if this is how it played out in the anime, in the Japanese one, but the way this music changes, it's so sinister. It really has that, oh crap, something's gone wrong kind of feel. Amazing. So good, what a beast. Okay, focus, here we go. Puppet Pummel. Just two. Any support attacks? Nope. Straight back in. Sick. Right in the face. And Nanimon coming to finish the job. Imagine being a Dark Master Mega Level and being finished off by Nanimon. Sucks to be you, Puppet Mon. Sucks to be you. Well done, Agamon. You the Mon. And now he's our friend. Puppet Mon's finally got a friend to play with. Come on, Puppet Mon. We'll play with you. Right. Um, Kokuo Mon has yet to have a connection battle. And what is one of my absolute favorite things with the Digivice color is when you connect, you can choose from any of the Digimon that you're friends with. So basically any Digimon on this device to do the battle. So it's really cool. So versus others... Literally every Digimon we've got can be picked. So let's just pick out a cool rookie to go up against Kokuomon. Let's go with Gizumon. So this will just be the classic battle format, but it's still so cool that you can just pick from any of them and that they're still compatible. And I think they still count towards your connection counters, which is kind of cool. So I think this will still count towards one of the backgrounds we can unlock. If we win. Nope, Gizamon takes the win. Sos Kokuomon. Yeah, pretty cool. And now it's time for pack of the day. So this is our last box topper pack now. This is the oh Yukimi Bottomon so excited for pack of the day, he's gonna digivolve. May it bless our packs. Nyaramon, how adorable is she? Seriously cute. Gotta be one of the best baby level Digimon. So anyway, yes, a Secret Crisis box promotion pack. Would love Ty and Kari. Again, gonna like all of them, but that's the one we want. Here we go. It's bent in the corner. It's Minami Yuhele. I've absolutely knackered that. Look at that corner. Honking. Good thing I'm not a collector. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I made my own bed and I must lay in it. Or vlog in it. <laughs> anyway, Secret Crisis BT17. Let's do this. Let's see if we can do this less like an ogre. Here we go. We've got Dorumon, tribute to Scorechip. So cool. 
Uh, Goblimon, he's looking pretty cool, isn't he? What a beast. Uh, Kyubimon, also looking ace. Renamon, thick thighs save lives. We've got Hippogryphonmon, great Digimon. Absolutely brilliant Digimon. Uh, Mephistamon, Argomon, Baltmon, Balmon. Look how cute it is. Oh, I oh, screwed that up. Uh, we've got Ornismon. We've got Wart Greymon, tribute to Uchu. So sick. Oh, an Omnimon in the background. That looks ace. And Agumon. Nice. Love a good thematic pack. Agumon's having the time of his life. He looks wired. Look at those pupils. I think he's had a little bit too much fruit there. You know, when you hear about like deers or whatever in orchards eating too much fruit and getting drunk, I feel like that's what's happened there. He's even salivating. Agumon, st steady on, mate. <laughs> You're having an episode. <laughs> Brilliant. And Yokimon's getting excited as well. Agumon's probably eating some of her friends, that's why. Ace, right. No more Godzillas, but I did get another little trinket. So uh, I've been very much enjoying Beyblade X. And Wave 2 is kind of starting to release in the UK. And there's a couple that I really wanted. And one of them is in this pack. So with my Beyblade X, I don't buy them online. I like to buy them in shops. Again, I'm very old school. Call me a boomer. Call me what you want. But I don't want to be buying stuff off Amazon when you can buy it in an independent shop or a toy shop or anything like that. Anyway, my wife picked this up for me today and it has got Bike Croc. So I've really wanted this. He's kind of like, they've got a word for it, but he's similar to Keel Shark, but he's a crocodile. And I'm, a, I'm mad for crocodiles. And it's also got Sting Unicorn. I much prefer the Japanese colours for that, which I already have. But yeah, definitely happy for Bike Croc. So I thought it'd be fun to open this on the channel. So yeah, let it rip. You know what? I'm just going to let it rip in the truest sense of the word and just rip this to shreds. So here's the Bike Croc, what would have been called the Attack Ring back in my day. This is now known as the Blade. That's it, the Blade. Uh, yeah, he's just a crocodile. He's got some cool sharp edges. I like that you've kind of got the crocodile. What is it, Yokimon? Come on, we're trying to make a video here. There we go. As I was saying, yeah, I like that you kind of got the crocodile faces in here and like the tip of its tail there. I think that's really, really cool. Not crazy for like the blue and orange, but would have been cooler in like a green or whatever. But, you know, I can live with that. Kind of cool. And then we've got Sting Unicorn. This is a really fun bay because depending on how it gets hit or how it hits, depends on how it performs. It's got like a defensive side and an attacking side. So it's kind of fun because no two matches are the same when you use it because it just totally, it's kind of like reactive based on who you're against, which I think is really fun. Uh, so it's not, not consistent, not by any stretch, but it is a lot of fun. It's consistently fun. There you go. So now what we do, we get what used to be called the weight disc, which is now called the ratchet, I believe, because the weight doesn't come from this anymore. The weight is actually on the blade. Uh, but that kind of goes in and then clicks. And then to finish it off, you put your bit in the bottom and that's what holds it all together. I've been really enjoying Beyblade X. I'm still nowhere near a turbo nerd on it. I don't know all the fancy lingo and stuff. I've not done any fancy combos, but I do really enjoy playing it. And I do really enjoy collecting it, especially collecting it in the wild. So going around toy shops and seeing what you can find. It's just very, very, very good fun. So yeah, I'm lucky that my wife likes to play it with me. And yeah, just good classic fun. So yeah, there's Bike Croc looking fresh. That's it. Lines up. So lines up like this and then twist. See? Click, twist. And then in. Jobs are good in. So yeah, pretty cool. I'll uh, take these for a spin at the end of the video and we'll see how they do. So here's my unicorn sting in Japanese. It's kind of like light blue and pink. Whereas this one's kind of like pink and yellow. I much prefer the Japanese colors. Oh yeah, and here's keel shark. So I think from what I've seen, and again, I'm not very knowledgeable about this. I think Keel Shark is still pound for pound a better blade, but Bike Croc's a good variant of it. And why people have been particularly excited about this is because if you like the Keel Shark thing, you can obviously have effectively two Keel Sharks in your team because they're different bays, technically. So yeah, their uh, their basic thing is that they're low. And with these up and out kind of attack bits, 
it hits under and goes for that burst finish. So that's kind of the, the theory. So like a shark or a crocodile attacking from under the water, which I think is really cool. So yeah, those are my Beyblade updates. So I'm still just looking for Raw Tyranno. And again, don't want him online. I'm not buying Raw Tyranno online. I'm going to find him in a shop or my wife's going to find him in a shop for me. <laughs> God, she's a she's an angel. She's doing everything. Uh, Let's just do one last check in with the geezers. So Kokuamon, we're just going to train him when he needs it. So like right now he needs one training. Nyaramon, we're going to pamper. So we're going to get that effort full and we're going to get no care mistakes. And we're just going to absolutely pamper her. Yokomon, I haven't decided. We'll just see where we go with that. Because I need to make sure I don't do the same as I did last time. And off the top of my head, I can't remember what that is. So we'll just see where that goes. And Tyranimon X just needs perfect care. Loads of battles, loads of wins. And then hopefully he can digivolve into something exciting. Buzzing. Let's take these Beyblades for a spin. Okay, here we go. So we got Bike Rock versus the new unicorn, the English one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Ah, oh, straight in the pocket. Two points to the unicorn. Three, two, one. Let it rip. That's a better launch. Bit of an extreme dash just then. But it's not enough for the unicorn. Oh, I think you've got more stamina. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I mean, I'm going to give two points to the croc there. Come on, croc. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Oh, croc's going mental. He wants it. Unicorn retaliating. Here we go. No! That's a spin out or whatever it's called, a survivor finish. So that puts the unicorn on three. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Crop coming out fast. Look at that. Oh, there's jumps and blasts, but I think unicorn's just a bit too defensive. Yeah, Croc's just got no steam left. No! Ah, oh, just, but new unicorn versus old unicorn you could keep new unicorn they should be the same but i don't know maybe they're not three two one let it rip. blue versus yellow it's like on tekken when you pick the same characters and, and you get different colors or costumes not quite as exciting knocked off balance a bit Yellow takes the win. My wife is just an exceptional Beyblader. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Starts off like, oh, I'll let her win a few so that she'll be interested. And then it ends up being, I just can't beat her. <laughs> Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, a bit more spice in this one. Push into the pocket, spoke too soon. We'll just do best of three with this one because I want to do a keel shark and croc one as well. So winner of this one. Three, two, one, let it rip. There we go, a bit more action again. And it's an exciting finish. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> this is what the edges of your seats are made for. Blue, just by a, by a hair. Croc versus baby shark. You can take shark. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Three, two, one, let it rip. Croc has decimated it. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Big kick straight off the bat. Here we go. They're chasing each other. Oh, it's Croc again. One last one. Three, two, one. Let it rip. There we go. Was that Croc? Ah. Oh. Ace. Welcome to the team, Croc. You the man. There we have it. Another one done. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Stay ace. Keep rocking. Peace.